this is shut up oh my god okay this is volume eight it has to be it has to be volume eight of one piece like literally the one volume that's been sold out everywhere and i had to buy it from pango books oh my god wait oh my god is it it has to be i'm going to be so it feels like a one piece volume Oh my god, shut up. How is this used? This is literally in perfect condition. Shut up. Oh my god. The elusive volume eight of One Piece. I can finally keep reading. Oh my god, you don't understand. I'm so happy right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, this is the bar fight. Love this. Love everything. So, yes. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. These are the ones that I was missing when I did the, the whole right stuff order before they closed. So, I got one volume of Baroque Works, one of Skypea, one of Thriller Bark, and one of New World. Like, I'm not even in the New World in the anime, and yet <laughs> I am collecting the manga. So, yes, here we are. Oh my god. Oh my god, should I? Oh my god, they don't fit in my shelves. Okay, let's go. So, this is my shelf. As you can see, the volume that I have on display is the last volume that I read, which is volumes 21, not 19, 20, and 21. And then the next one that I have is 31, 32, 33. I can continue my reading of one. Oh, there's more, girl. <laughs> okay, there's more, but anyways, yes. Oh my God, oh, this is, wait. Oh no, okay, here. This is the elusive volume eight. There we go. Okay, this makes more sense. Okay, let's see. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. We have 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I literally never thought I would get this volume. I swear to God, it's literally sold out everywhere. I still can't believe that I have it. 
but yes, and after 24, we have 25, 26, 27, ladies and gentlemen. And after 26 and 27, we just got this one in the mail. So yes, we can continue to keep reading. After 30, do we have 31? Yes, we do! Oh my god. It's like I'm playing bingo. Oh my god, I love this feeling. Oh my god, look at them. I finally have all of the volumes. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. So we have 33, and then what's the next volume that I have? I have 34 to 36, so I'm missing 37, 38, 39. Right now, I can binge read one, two, three, four, five volumes, and then I'm missing the one in between these two. I'm missing volume 13 of the omnibus versions, but then let's see, do I have, I do have these, and then do I have 46? No, I do not. I'm also missing that one. And then do I have 50? Oh, wait, I have this one. I have a new Thriller Bark to add to my collection, which would go in between these two. There we go. And then I have 64, which would be here, here. This is where it would go. Oh my goodness, I have so many new, so many new one Piece volumes. I am so happy about this. I am so, so happy. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, like, hear me out. I, <laughs> hi, hello my friends. Welcome to this, what is this? Reading vlog, yes, hi, welcome. I feel like it's been so long since I last did a reading vlog, but we're here. We are not ready to party. We are not doing well. Actually, we're doing worse than ever, but um, somehow I feel like this is the best time to do a reading vlog, so welcome. I hope you are seated because this is probably going to be a cute one. It's going to be a cozy one. So I hope you I hope you're ready to spend some time with me. <laughs> yes. Um, I also hope you you found your way all right. Hi, my name's Bella. 
I don't know if you know that, but if you do, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first time in my channel, I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm going through it, but uh, I just love sharing so many things about my life on the internet. So yeah, let's just see what this week has in store for us. I actually started this reading vlog last week. I started it on a Monday and it was so beautiful. I had such a productive Monday. I finished one book. I read like 50% of another one and I was feeling on top of the world. I was like, oh my goodness, this is everything. Like, oh my God, I'm so prepared for this week. Um, and then on Tuesday, <laughs> That just goes to show how absolutely just life is so goofy, you know what I mean? Like one day you can be having the best time of your life and in less than 24 hours your life can just completely fall apart and you have absolute zero control over it which is you know as a capricorn it's very hard to admit that i don't have control over the situation but yeah tuesday came and i wanted to not be here anymore <laughs> obviously it's been a while since that last tuesday it is now tuesday so it's been an entire week since um, that news that I received just demolished any like progress that I had made in this year like in terms of my mental health and just like you know working towards being happy yeah it was a shock but one week later and like I mean I can't laugh about it I'm not there yet but like I'm working on it and it's okay and we're here filming a reading vlog so like hey it's not as bad as it used to be i guess but anyways hi yeah not the best way to start a new reading vlog but um yeah um <laughs> as you can see or as you saw from the previous clips on this vlog i've been let me just look for them i don't know where they are like you'd think these are my bookshelves but somehow i don't really know as you saw from the previous clips i was reading these two books and I find it so interesting that I read this book before I knew what was going to happen. And I feel like if I read it again, it would hit so different because there were certain passages that I just know if I reread them with the knowledge that I have now, they would just be <laughs> that much more devastating, but like in a good way. So I do feel like yeah, I read this last week, but I feel like I have to reread it again because I just know like my perspective in life has shifted and I feel like a different person would be reading this book. I talked about this in my October wrap up. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up here. Would really appreciate it if you watched. But anyways, I talked about how absolutely beautiful this book is and how it focuses on dealing with grief and loss and just kind of like feeling the pain that life throws your way and you know like the best way through pain is to just experience the entirety of it and not try to avoid it or try to ignore it or try to minimize it yes um rilke the dark interval incredible fantastic it feels like my own little therapist so i kind of want to keep it close to me because i feel like i'm going to need these words and yeah, apart from The Dark Interval, I was also reading The Girl With All The Gifts by M.R. Carey and I actually finished it. Yes, I did. I finished it last week, so it was a very interesting experience because I was not at all prepared for what this book was about. Just looking at the cover, I thought it was giving literary fiction. I thought it was giving contemporary coming of age type of story, but really it's not. It's science fiction, it's horror, it's fantasy. It's like the complete opposite of what I thought it was going to be, but I always love to be surprised by books. This is why I love going into books not knowing what they're about or like having a very limited idea of what it's going to be like because once I start to read it, it just blows my mind. I feel like going into books that way is a lot more exciting and a lot more fun than reading a spoiler filled synopsis so i'm really happy that i had no idea what this book was about when i first picked it up it was just a nice way to distract myself from the horrors of real life so <laughs> there we go i read these two books last week and then yesterday night actually i was supposed to talk to you guys about these books 
throughout the week but that just didn't pan out so now it's like a random reading update um yeah so last night i actually finished my first book of november which was god killer written by hannah kane is it hannah kane Hannah Kainer, there we go, Hannah Kainer. This is a fantasy that is based around gods and god killers and there's like this girl with peculiar powers and there's this guy, there's this woman. It's basically for fans of, what's that one? What's that one with Henry Cavill? The Witcher, yes, it's basically for fans of The Witcher and also Gideon the Ninth. So if you're into one of those two books or shows, maybe you would like God Killer. I really enjoyed it. I think if I would have read it less spaced out, I would have enjoyed it more than I did because I <laughs> like I started it and I was really loving it. And then I took like a four day break from reading this for absolutely no reason. I just, I couldn't do anything except wallow in my bed and watch K-dramas and anime until my eyes bled. <laughs> so it took me a while to finish God Killer, but once I did, I really enjoyed it. I just think I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I hadn't taken that random break in between. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. And this is a trilogy. I'm not sure if I want to continue with the series. But this is an enjoyable book. I really like the characters, I like the story itself, and I like the buildup of the action. I think my favorite character has to be Kissin, because I just like girls that don't take any anything from other people and they're just very self-assured but they do have like skeletons in their closet and they have like a very traumatizing past but they don't let it affect them. Wait, it does affect them but like it they don't let it affect how they act actually it does affect how they okay you know what i have no idea what i'm saying anymore so i'm going to put this down but this was my first book of november i didn't annotate anything but it was still an enjoyable time and i would recommend it to like fantasy lovers and anyone that's looking for like a good time and it's very it's not that long it, it has like less than 300 pages 288 to be exact so if you're looking for a fun fast-paced fantasy new start to the series type of book i would highly recommend not not highly i would recommend god killer <laughs> should i tell you guys about my reading plans for the week because i do have plans will i actually go through with them that is another question but i am in the middle of an audiobook which is the one book that i listen to while i'm playing subway surfer on my phone yes subway surfer has taken over my life but i have found a way to make it productive because every time that i'm playing subway surfer i'm listening to an audiobook and this is that is way too bright baby girl this is the audiobook that I've been listening to. It's called Misery by Stephen King. This is actually my first Stephen King book. As I'm listening to Misery, which I am 31% of the way through, I'm missing four hours and 13 minutes. As I'm playing Misery, I am playing Subway Surfer. There we go, this is my missions. This is my progress. Um, I'm doing very well, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> it's taken over my life and honestly, it's just become a comfort at this point. Like whenever I don't really wanna do anything, I just put on Subway Surfer and I just, you know, forget. I just kind of like leave my own body and I just become the surfer of the subway. What? <laughs> I really don't know what I'm saying. I'm so sorry. But anyways, I don't know if I'm going to be finishing Misery this week because like i'm not that invested in the story it's like about this guy who had this guy who's an author and he writes books and he has this one super fan that um kidnaps him and keeps him in her basement and he has these really intense injuries he has like a broken leg and he has like a bad hip or whatever and she's just keeping him hostage she basically just wants him to change the ending of the book that he wrote because he does something to her favorite character and she's like nah nah that's not gonna play with me you need to write a different ending and you need to do it now you need to do it in my basement as you're like dying from your wounds and injuries you're going to do this for me because you love me because i'm your number one fan i feel like the premise sounds a lot more exciting than the actual book because yeah he's in the basement and he's dying and he has to write a book but like what's next you know what i mean like i'm kind of bored because <laughs> it's just him being like oh my god no everything hurts 
and then it's just her being insane and crazy but like give me more you know what i mean so so far i'm just not that invested in the story but i am willing to just keep listening to it because like i'm having fun playing subway surfer either way so it's fine i guess maybe i'll give it until like the 50 percent mark and if nothing different has happened then i will dnf for this to be my first stephen king experience i'm not that happy with it i thought it would be better because so many people actually recommended mystery to me and it's just not hitting it's really not babes apart from misery i also want to read evocate actually this is the perfect time to look for how to pronounce evocation 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 okay thank you so much fantastic so the next the next book that i will hopefully read and finish this week is evocation written by st gibson they are also the author of one of the best books on vampires that i've read ever which is a dowry of blood absolutely adored it i read it in 2021 and i'm still thinking about that baby because it was so good the writing was spectacular and it was so spicy and so perfect and i am so excited about this book which isn't even out this is like a limited edition proof copy it's not even an arc it's like the thing that comes before an arc and i don't know how i was so lucky to receive a copy of this but i did i got it I don't even know how it made it to my front door, but like it's here. I'm not going to question miracles and I'm just going to read it. This comes out the 28th of May next year. So I cannot let this opportunity go by. Like I need to read this book so I can tell you guys about it and low key kind of be like, I read this book before everybody else. Um, yeah, like I don't have many moments like that. So I need to take full advantage of this opportunity um i'm kidding by the way i would never do that to you guys but i do really want to read this because it just sounds like something i would love and it's giving polyamory and girl like i haven't read enough books about that like i need it i really need it we have like mediums we have sorcerers we have astrologers we have magical riddled boston through hierarchical secret societies familial bonds from beyond the grave it just feels right okay i feel like this is the perfect november book and i'm really really excited about it i feel like it's the book that i am most excited about in my november tbr apart from another book that i really have to read hold up apart from evocation i also i'm probably not going to do or like make a lot of progress in this book this week because it's just not my priority right now but my patreon november pick for the book club huh <laughs> my my <laughs> why do i always struggle to say this okay my patreon pick for this month's buddy read is The Secret History written by Donna Tartt. I have read it before. I have loved it before. Look at the atrocity that these tabs are. They just look disgusting. And I am so excited that I finally get to fix them because these tabs were made for this book. I'm just so excited to see how they're going to look once I finally fix these atrocious tabs. Like, look, look at, look at the possibilities. Okay, that doesn't look that great. Actually, it does look great. But anyways, just think of what the final product is going to look like. Definitely better than this. Like, come on now, girl. What was I thinking? I will never forgive myself. But anyways, I am really looking forward to reading this one and just see if I love it as much as I did the first time around. I really need to finish Misery and Evocation. Evocation? Yes. I'm just looking at the pronunciation guide on Google to make sure that I'm saying it right. So basically, those are my reading plans for the week. But I also have some K-drama and animes that I have to watch. Like, I don't have to watch them, but um, I have been spending... <laughs> I have been spending a lot of time just, um, you know, feeling sorry for myself and wallowing in bed. And, you know, when I'm in bed, there's not much to, I mean, I could read, but I won't read because I do have a TV very close to me and I could just Netflix or I could watch anime and that's what i've been doing i've been watching a lot of anime this morning i finished my happy marriage and it was so good <laughs> why did no one tell me that this anime was this good oh my god i gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars because it did a really annoying thing in the final episode it did this one thing that i really don't like where basically our main character she's been powerless the entirety of the season and then 
somehow she knows how to use her powers and she's like this super badass nobody can touch her she can literally use her powers to the max potency i don't know like i don't like it when they go from zero to a hundred out of nowhere especially this specific character that was so powerless and so useless i don't know so because of that i did have to take away like a tiny bit off my rating i did still end up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars because i love i love <laughs> I love the relationship between these two characters and I love their chemistry. I love the heartwarming moments that we share with them. It was just so good. It was really, really good. Except for like that one thing that they did in the final episode, but I'm really happy and I am very excited for season two. Now I'm going to start a K-drama that's called Duna. It's on Netflix and it only has eight episodes, so it's really easy to binge. I could probably finish it tonight if I put my heart into it. I've just been having a lot of fun getting back into my K-drama business and just watching a lot of anime that I've been loving. Actually, oh my God, there is one thing that I do want to maybe do with you guys because I was looking through my YouTube comments and somebody who watched like my new bookshelf reorganization video, they were like, what if you, wait, can you even see it? What if you, <laughs> okay. What if you move your Percy Jackson shelf to where your classics are and that way all of your fantasies are together and i was like why did i how could i not think of that like how why did my brain not because it's basically literally just switching the entire shelf to the other shelf how did i not see that but i'm so happy that my simpers are such visionaries and i'm happy that i have them to give me good ideas because apparently i cannot come up with any so i thought it would be fun to just like switch over these books i don't really know where i'm going to put you but um yeah we can do that now before i go back to bed and just keep wallowing <laughs> listen okay i was gonna say i'm fine but i don't want to lie to you guys so just don't worry about me I will probably be fine, just not for now. Okay, all right, you know, that's being optimistic a little bit, I guess. But anyways, let's do that because that's exciting and that's like the one thing I can do today that will make me feel like I did something. Yeah, let's go, let's do it.
fitness. Okay, so I just had like, I look weird without the side part. I'm sorry. Um, but now I look weird because I like brought attention to it. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Hi, how are we feeling today? It has been raining ever since I woke up. It's just been like between drizzling and heavy rain. And I don't even know if you can hear that right now, but it's currently raining. And it's just been such a super gloomy day, like the perfect day for reading. That's basically what I've been doing all day. I've just been reading and watching a few episodes of my K-drama, Duna. What should I talk about first, the books or the K-drama? Okay, I'm gonna talk about the K-drama because it's a pretty quick update. I watched the first two episodes of this new K-drama and I'm honestly really not liking it because it uses this trope that I'm not really the biggest fan of or like I'm not a fan of it at all. Like our main character, which is played by Susie, who used to be or is a K-pop idol and she's absolutely gorgeous. She is just like, I don't know, like the personality that they gave her, it's just very unrealistic and it's very annoying and i don't know like i don't really like where the story is going but i am only two episodes into it this does have a total of nine episodes so we'll just see like each episode is 49 minutes i might as well give it a few more episodes and see if it gets better or if it gets worse i have actually done quite a lot of reading today and i'm very proud of myself because i thought i was going to struggle with reading today and like doing anything productive but I've actually been pretty productive. I read 105 pages of Evocation by S.T. Gibson, and I am not surprised by this, but I'm like loving this book. Um, it's literally exactly what I was in the mood for, like witches, seances, demonic possession, secret societies, possible polyamory. I just love everything that this book is giving me, and I am so happy that I get to read this book at this time of the year because it's just perfect and the rain is getting a lot harder so excuse the noise but just picture just think of it as asmr okay um uncontrollable asmr but there we go in this book we're following moira david and riss and david has a little bit of a problem he's currently being possessed by like one of his ancestors and David is just going through it and so he asks his ex-boyfriend Riss for help. Riss decides to help him but also he won't do it unless his wife Moira is there with him. So they form this unlikely bond, this unlikely alliance between all three of them. Oh my god okay yeah. yeah it's it's insane but it's good it's fine it's perfect reading weather that's how i'm going to view it so yeah we just have these three characters and i love when they're together like the dynamic that they have between each other and like the interactions the wittiness the bickering the back and forth it's just everything it's everything and i cannot wait to see where the story is going but this is where i am so far so I have read quite a lot and I'm really enjoying it. I wasn't expecting it to be as funny as it is, but these personalities are just gorgeous. They're so fun. And yeah, I am enjoying this so much. I'm enjoying it a lot more than Misery by Stephen King, which I have been reading a little bit here and there. Like when I don't want to keep reading physically, I just switch to the audiobook and I put on some Subway Surfer and I try to beat my high score. And I made it to 60% of misery. It's not a good time, babes. Like, I can't believe so much has happened, but at the same time, nothing has changed. Like, I don't know how that's possible. And it's a little bit frustrating. Like, I know the point of the writing and the story and the pacing is to build this atmosphere of claustrophobia and it's supposed to be nerve-wracking and frustrating and obviously this man is being held hostage against his will and he may die because he is being held hostage by a mentally ill woman an unhinged woman a deranged woman who has a tendency to assault or like abuse other people so like yeah it's a very terrifying scenario i obviously would not want to be a part of that but i feel like reading a book about it is just not that interesting because nothing has changed and basically the entire story takes place in one room and inside the mind of one man like we only have two characters so you know those two characters 
have to be pretty interesting and they have to be pretty strong to keep me entertained otherwise i'm just kind of going to wish that the book were shorter so that i could finish it faster which is what's happening right now but like i'm 60 percent of the way through i'm basically almost done with it not really but like i don't really have another audiobook that i want to listen to and i still want to play subway surfer so i guess i'll just finish it and see if this book gets any better because some like more than two people have recommended this book to me as my first Stephen King novel so like they must have recommended it for some reason unless they were just trying to like do me dirty then it's working <laughs> I don't think that was their intention but I'll just keep reading and see how I feel about this story and I will definitely be keeping you guys posted but for the rest of the day I think I'm just going to keep reading more evocation and misery I'm just going to be like um what's that word when you like juggle no it's like when you're switching back and forth between them yeah that's basically what i'm going to do and i'm also going to try and watch a couple more episodes of duna and just see if it gets any better if it doesn't i'll just dnf because life is too short to watch k dramas that are no good if that's all that i wanted to update you guys on i hope you're having a fantastic day whenever you're watching this let me know in the comments below what you're currently watching, what you're currently reading. If you have any recommendations, please leave them down below. I would love to expand my TBR and also like my to be watch list. It's not long enough, so I would really appreciate some recommendations, especially if it's similar to TV shows like The Boys and White Lotus. And oh my god, what's the that one? The Bear? Yes, please. I'm looking forward to your recommendations. Thank you so much. And I guess I'll just get back to reading now. I'll talk to you guys later. It is the next day and I have just come back from an entire morning of being in the hospital, at the hospital. Thank goodness that I took two books with me because boy did I spend a lot of time there. Um, it's already past, way past lunchtime, so a lot of the time today I spent in waiting rooms and just not at home so i had plenty of time <laughs> to finish evocation by st gibson and i also finished misery by stephen king and i also started a new book that i wasn't planning on starting so early in the month but honestly i'm really happy that i did because i was really intimidated by north and south i thought i was going to have a hard time reading this one because i'm just scared I've been saying ever since like May that I was going to read this book and I just kept on delaying it because I just I didn't know if I was ready to read a classic. I had never read anything by Elizabeth Gaskell before so like I didn't know what to expect and I was just very scared. But today I took it with me because what better way <laughs> to force yourself to read a book than when you're waiting at a hospital. I'm using my Taylor Swift bookmark to give me strength and it worked because I read the first 83 pages which is 
the first 10 chapters of North and South and I'm enjoying it. I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I do see why some people compare it to Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice because we do have a couple of characters that are very Mr. Darcy and our main character, Margaret, she's very headstrong and she's very, she just knows what she wants and she knows what she likes and it's a very interesting female main lead because in classics we don't really tend to get that many headstrong strong-willed women i mean most of the classics that i've read <laughs> do have strong-willed female leads but whenever any other female character is in the sidelines they're just very passive which is not realistic it just really isn't it's like a mixture of beautiful writing mixed in with the descriptions and the characters and the setting of the place it's just you know i'm kind of living for it it's just been a really fun time it is slow going because when i'm reading classics my reading speed is diminished by like a thousand percent so it did take me a while to reach 83 pages but i'm still really enjoying it and i feel like at the end of the day what matters is how much fun you're having and not necessarily how fast you read it but hey that's just me but anyways evocation by st gibson i ended up giving this bad boy 4.5 out of 5 stars it was really really enjoyable it was honestly every oh i still have my bookmark yes it was honestly everything that I was looking for and I wish I could show you guys like a couple of my favorite scenes, a couple of my favorite quotes, favorite moments because oh my goodness, but I literally cannot because the first page says this is an uncorrected advance proof so may contain errors. Please don't mention any errors in your review and if you wish to quote any section of the text, contact us first to check that it made it into the final book and girly pop i, I can't do that so <laughs> i won't be able to share my favorite moments with you guys but just know that i had a really fun time and there are so many things to love about this book oh i still have the markers i thought it would take me a lot longer to read this but i ended up reading it in two days because i just could not put it down it was that good and i just wanted to spend as much time as i could with these characters once i was in this world i just did not want to leave it so i didn't and i just i loved it like i love david and riss and moira i love all three of them together i love them individually it's just so good it was so good and i cannot wait for you guys to read this come may 28th of 2024 so look forward to st gibson's new book this is literally not sponsored i really want you guys to read this book because it was really good it wasn't as smutty as i thought it would be considering you know st gibson's previous work but it does have its moments it's just not what i was expecting but i'm still really happy with what we got so i just yeah, S.T. Gibson, Evocation, and just look at how many tabs I use. Like, that's how you know I had a lot of fun reading a book when it has, like, a bunch of annotations. So anyways, apart from Evocation, Misery by Stephen King. Actually, it ended up surprising me because I think the last time that I updated you guys, I was... 70% in and I was like, hey, maybe the last 30% is going to shock me and I'm actually going to enjoy it and I was correct because at the 70% mark like literally right before I decided to stop it starts to get really good and I start to see why it's considered a horror and honestly, it just got like really horrifying and like the things that I was listening to I was like appalled. I was shocked. I could not believe the turn of events that was occurring in this story i could not believe what these characters were doing it gave me so much anxiety and i was just going through it but like in the best way possible like this is what i was expecting from a stephen king novel i did end up giving misery three out of five stars because i don't believe that the last 30 percent is worth the 70 percent that you have to crawl through 
So yeah, it was really good at the last 30%, but I'm sure he has better books out there. Like this cannot be his best work because I have to enjoy at least more than half of a book to be able to give it anything more than three stars. But again, that last 30% really surprised me. Like it shocked me so much. I even died in Subway Surfer because I could not believe what I was hearing. It was literally so horrifying and gory and descriptive. And I was like, this is what I was looking for ever since I started this book. It kind of sucks that you waited 70% to give it to me, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. So yeah, my first Stephen King experience not the best but also not the worst not what i was expecting but i'm okay with what i ended up with i'm definitely going to be reading more of north and south during the weekend but for now i just kind of want to take a break and i want to watch more of my k-drama it still hasn't gotten that good but like you know I'm, i might as well finish it okay i i struggle with dnfing things with books i've gotten a lot better it's a lot easier for me to dnf books when i'm just not feeling them but when it comes to shows i'm just like a little bit harder on myself because i'm like oh it's it's so easy to watch a show just give it a chance don't give up on it and yeah anyways <laughs> um i feel like i had a pretty productive week in terms of reading and just in terms of you know like actually getting out of bed and doing something with myself besides wallowing and rotting in bed so i am proud of myself and i'm happy that i documented this week for you guys it definitely did not go as i was expecting or as i was hoping but i still got a lot of reading done and i read some pretty incredible books which is always a win i think i'm going to end the vlog here so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please remember to like subscribe and leave a comment it really helps my channel out and it helps me know that you guys are actually enjoying the videos that I am making for you which would make me feel really good about myself so if you haven't done your nice thing of the day this could be your nice thing I also have a patreon where I post exclusive content I host readathons reading sprints and a monthly book club I also have a podcast with my sister where we talk about literally everything so if that is something that sounds interesting to you the link is down below as always I would love to have you join my army of premium simpers if you're still here I just wanted to let you know that I am so incredibly proud of everything that you accomplished this week whether it be getting out of bed when you really really didn't want to or finishing a project that you had due this month or just like literally any small win is a win a win is a win thank you so much for watching this video i love and appreciate every single one of you that stayed until the end and i will definitely be seeing you guys next week bye hey jimmy you nice keep going